Sudra said, we, are, we talked and uh, counseled and interacted with the clinicians about what are the genetic tests which are responsible for male infertility, what is responsible for female, what is responsible for abortions and all, and can we rectify it? How can it be done? And nowadays the technology has gone to that level where you can take a single cell uh, from, and the test can be done on that single cell. So, but if we know what is the test, we have to know, do the testing of the couple prior to their planning pregnancy. Then only we can do a specific test in that single cell in the, of the developing embryo and the take home healthy baby rate becomes very high. Second thing, it can also increase the success of all these infertility treatments. Because up till now it was thought that 35% of couples who cannot conceive is idiopathic. Idiopathic means causes not known. But now with the coming of genetic tests, many of these can come under reasons which we know. And based on the reasons, then the clinician can treat appropriately. So that's why genetics in infertility plays a major role. See, main reasons are they can be uh, because you are born with it or it can be due to external causes like alcohol, taking of medicine, uh, electromagnetic fields from cell phones, from uh, laptops, all these uh, uh, also lifestyle changes where day and night changes are there, people are working at night and it is at night that certain hormones are released in the brain which work very well for normal fertility. So with these changes like the IT sector, you are finding more and more infertility with pollution, with exposure to various medication. Also thing is the advantage that people with cancer and all earlier could not have children. Now they can have. So we have techniques on which we can save the sperm or the uh, eggs prior to starting treatment and then they can come back after their treatment for children. So that's why we are seeing more reasons for infertility.